Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss how deep learning, particularly through large neural networks, has transformed various fields like computer vision and natural language processing. A central challenge in this area is optimizing complex loss functions that are often non-convex, using noisy gradient estimates. We typically use methods like stochastic gradient descent, SGD, or adaptive techniques such as Adam and Adam W for this optimization. Momentum is a crucial element in many of these optimization algorithms, as it has been shown to speed up convergence and improve generalization. By accumulating gradient vectors over multiple steps, momentum helps navigate small fluctuations in the loss landscape, allowing us to escape shallow local minima and move faster in flat regions. Both SGD with momentum and ADAM utilize exponential moving averages (EMAs) of past gradients. From a practical perspective, EMAs allow for efficient implementation without needing to store all past gradients. Theoretically, momentum in gradient descent can lead to optimal convergence rates for quadratic functions, although this does not guarantee the same for non-quadratic cases. The varying nature of gradients means that their relevance can diminish quickly during optimization. Therefore, we often use moderate momentum values, around 0.8 or 0.9, to create a moving average that prioritizes recent gradients while discarding older ones. Interestingly, we find that using larger momentum values might seem counterintuitive, as it implies older gradients remain relevant for longer. Our research indicates that older gradients can indeed be useful. When we increase the momentum, we reduce the influence of recent gradients, which can hinder responsiveness to local changes in the loss landscape. We observe that a single emma cannot effectively balance significant weight on both recent and older gradients. To address this, we propose a combination of a fast-changing emma and a slow-changing emma, allowing us to benefit from the speed of the larger momentum while still being responsive to small changes. This approach leads us to introduce ADEMA mix, a new optimizer that effectively utilizes very old gradients for better solutions. Our contributions include demonstrating the advantages of ADEMA mix over Atom by training large models and showing that it retains training data longer than Atom. Our findings enhance the understanding of how to balance historical gradients with the need to adapt to a changing loss landscape, encouraging further research into methods that combine old and recent gradients. We also review related work on momentum and optimization methods noting that while many studies have explored the effects of momentum in various settings, our understanding in non-convex stochastic environments remains incomplete. We raise questions about the implications of using very old gradients and their potential impact on generalization. In summary, we highlight the need for continued exploration of optimizer designs, including those that incorporate additional momentum terms and distributed optimization techniques, as we believe these areas are relevant to our work on ADEMA mix. Section Summary In this section, we discuss the optimization challenges in deep learning, particularly the role of momentum in enhancing convergence rates and generalization properties of algorithms like SGD and Atom. We introduce our novel optimizer, ADEMA mix, which effectively combines recent and older gradients to improve training outcomes demonstrating its superiority over traditional methods through empirical results. Section. Our method. ADEMA mix. In this section, we present our method called ADEMA mix. We define a loss function, which we denote as L, that takes inputs from a set X and produces a real number. For a sampled batch of inputs, we calculate the stochastic gradient of the loss with respect to the parameters, which we refer to as theta. To minimize the empirical loss, we utilize the atom optimizer, which relies on first and second moments, represented as m and nu, estimated through two exponential moving averages, emmas, with parameters beta underscore 1 and beta underscore 2, both ranging between 0 and 1. We also incorporate a weight decay parameter, d, which is a positive real number. Initially, both m and nu are set to zero. To address the bias from these initial values, we correct the outputs of the two emmas. These corrected values are then used to compute the final weight update, scaled by the learning rate. 
we typically set beta underscore 1 to 0 0.9, which influences how much weight is given to past gradients. For instance, with beta underscore 1 at 0 0.9, we find that half of the weight is assigned to the previous six gradients. We note that increasing beta underscore 1 beyond approximately 0 0.9 tends to degrade performance in our experiments with Adam W. This does not imply that older gradients are irrelevant. Rather, higher beta values reduce sensitivity to recent gradients too much. Therefore, we designed a DEMA mix to maintain sensitivity to recent gradients while also incorporating information from older gradients through an additional momentum term, allowing us to use much larger beta values, such as 0 0.9999. In our implementation of a DEMA mix, we add a second emma to enhance sensitivity to recent gradients while still considering older ones. We keep beta underscore 1 and beta underscore 2 similar to previous settings but often set beta underscore 3 to 0 0.9999. We find that alpha values between 4 and 10 work well in practice. To address early training instabilities, which are common in deep model training, we employ learning rate warm-up. This approach helps the model navigate to stable areas of the optimization landscape. Despite using warm-up, we observed that models with a large beta underscore 3 could still diverge early due to large update magnitudes. To mitigate this, we progressively increase beta underscore 3 and alpha using schedulers. We use a linear scheduler for alpha, while for beta underscore 3, we design a scheduler that increases t underscore half linearly, as the impact of changes in beta underscore 3 varies significantly depending on its current value. We summarize the two schedulers, where T underscore alpha and T underscore beta underscore 3 represent the warm up times for alpha and beta underscore 3 to reach their final values. We typically set these warm up times to be equal and equal to the total number of iterations. Adding an additional emma does require more memory and computation, but the extra compute is minimal compared to the forward backward pass. In larger distributed setups, ADEMA mix does not increase communication overhead compared to Atom, which may reduce runtime overhead. However, it does require additional memory for the second EMMA, which is the same size as the model parameters. We believe this can be managed using fully sharded data parallelism, FSDP. If memory issues arise, we can set beta underscore 1 to 0, eliminating the need for the first EMMA, though this may lead to less stable training. Alternatively, we can apply factorization strategies to reduce memory usage. We introduce up to four new hyperparameters, alpha, beta underscore 3, t underscore alpha, and t underscore beta underscore 3. In practice, we set t underscore alpha and t underscore beta underscore 3 to be equal and typically equal to the total number of iterations. We find that while beta underscore 3 is usually set to 0 0.9999 in language modeling tasks, other values can still outperform the Adam W baseline. Our experiments show that the ranges for alpha, beta underscore 3, and t underscore alpha, t underscore beta underscore 3 that improve performance over Adam W are quite broad. Finally, we acknowledge that ADEMA mix is particularly effective in scenarios with many iterations. We also note that smaller beta underscore 3 values may be more suitable for situations with fewer iterations. Retaining gradient information over many steps can be challenging in environments that require quick adaptation to sudden changes or in non-stationary distributions. Section Summary In this section, we introduce a DEMA mix, an optimizer that enhances sensitivity to recent gradients while incorporating information from older gradients through an additional momentum term, allowing for larger values of the momentum parameter. We also discuss strategies to mitigate early training instabilities and the computational overhead associated with the additional memory requirements, while highlighting the flexibility in hyperparameter settings that can still yield improvements over the Adam W baseline. Section Results in this section, we utilize ADEMA mix to train language models and vision systems with parameter counts ranging from 24 million to 1.3 billion. For our experimental setup, we adopt an architecture that includes learned positional encoding, 
using sequences of 1024 tokens. We test three model sizes, 110 million, 335 million, and 1.3 billion parameters. Our learning rate strategy involves 3,000 warm-up steps followed by a cosine decay down to a very small value. We carefully adjusted the hyperparameters for both Adam W and ADEMA mix models using the Red Pajama V2 dataset throughout our experiments. We set batch sizes of 64, 96, and 128 for the respective model sizes and varied the number of training iterations from 256,000 to 1.5 million. For ADEMA mix, we set a specific value for one parameter and adjusted another based on the model size. We trained using up to 8 NVIDIA A100 GPS with data parallelism. We explored why simply increasing a specific parameter in Atom W might not yield the same benefits as adding an additional exponential moving average in ADEMA mix. Our initial experiments indicated that using a high value for this parameter from the start led to training instabilities, and no value above 0.9 improved performance compared to the Atom W baseline. To address this, we modified Adam W to gradually increase this parameter throughout training, which stabilized the process but still did not surpass the baseline performance. We also tested starting from a pre trained Adam W model and found similar results, reinforcing that merely increasing this parameter is insufficient, thus, supporting our design of ADEMA mix. Across all model sizes and iterations, ADEMA mix consistently outperformed the Adam W baseline. For instance, training a 110 million parameter model for 256,000 iterations yielded results comparable to training an Adam W model for 500,000 iterations. As we increased the number of iterations, the performance gap widened. For the 1.3 billion parameter models, Training for 770,000 steps matched the baseline performance achieved with 1.5 million iterations, demonstrating significant efficiency. We also compared training speeds and found that the additional exponential moving average had a minimal impact on training time. If we were to train new models within a fixed time budget, the extra iterations required for the baseline would not close the performance gap. For example, to match the performance of a 110 million parameter ADEMA mix model trained for 256,000 iterations, we would need to train an Adam W model for 500,000 iterations. Our results showed consistent improvements across different token budgets, indicating that our method provides a steady advantage over the baseline. We also demonstrated that it is feasible to switch from Adam W to ADEMA mix during training with the timing of the switch affecting the performance gains. The earlier we made the switch, the greater the improvement, suggesting that both early and late training dynamics contribute to edema mix's effectiveness. Lastly, we investigated how quickly models forget training data. By analyzing the loss on a specific training batch, we found that ADEMA mix models forget this data more slowly than Adam W models, which lose information rapidly. This slower forgetting rate may explain some of the performance improvements we observed with ADEMA mix. Additional details on our forgetting experiments are available in the appendix. Section Summary In this section, we train language and vision models using ADEMA mix, demonstrating that it consistently outperforms the Adam W baseline across various model sizes and iterations, achieving better perplexity with fewer tokens. Our experiments also reveal that ADEMA mix models forget training data more slowly than Adam W models, indicating improved retention of learned information. Section, Mamba LM Training. In this section, we describe our experimental setup and results for training Mamba models. We trained models with 168 million parameters using the fine web dataset, as detailed in the appendix. Our findings, illustrated in the figures, show that the improvements from ADEMA mix align with our previous experiments on transformer models, indicating that its benefits extend beyond just those models. Next, we shift to training vision transformers, VITS, in a scenario where data is limited. We conducted multiple training epochs, specifically 37 or 320, using two subsets of the ImageNet dataset, 
the popular ImageNet minus 1K with 1.3 million images and 1,000 classes, and a filtered version of ImageNet 21K with 11 million images and 10,450 classes. We measured the test loss on a separate test set for both subsets. We utilized VIT architectures with 24 million and 86 million parameters. Unlike typical practices in vision research where large models are pre-trained and then fine-tuned on smaller datasets, our focus was on optimizing pre-training, so we trained and tested on the same data distribution. We detailed our model's hyperparameters in the appendix, using a batch size of 4096 for all experiments. We started with training hyperparameters from previous work and made adjustments to the learning rate, dropout, and weight decay for our Adam W baselines. We then trained ADEMA mix models using the best hyperparameters from Adam W, experimenting with different values for alpha and beta. We trained for 320 epochs on ImageNet minus 1K and 37 epochs on ImageNet 21K, which corresponded to 100,000 iterations in both cases. Data augmentation is crucial for effectively training VITs, and we applied simple augmentation techniques. Our training was conducted on 8 NVIDIA A100 GPS using PyTorch's fully sharded data parallelism. We explored three scenarios with varying capacity, data ratios. First, we trained 24 million parameter models on 11 million images from ImageNet 21K for 37 epochs. In this case, we easily found a DEMA mix parameters that outperformed the baseline in both training and test accuracy. Next, we increased the model size to 86 million parameters, and again, we found parameters that surpassed the baseline. However, when we kept the model size at 86 million and switched to the smaller ImageNet minus 1K dataset, which required 320 epochs due to our 100,000 iterations, it became challenging to outperform the baseline. These experiments suggest that ADEMA mix performs best when there is a large amount of data relative to the model's capacity. Overall, we consistently observed that ADEMA mix reduced training loss more effectively than Adam W, and when this reduction in training loss also led to a decrease in test loss, ADEMA mix outperformed the Adam W baseline.